yes this is the ci cd pipeline i am talking about from the beginning okay this ci cd pipeline this delivery pipeline creation will take about a month or so more than a month also okay so this is what we'll be building in our course parallelly on two applications let me explain you see here developers are writing the code whenever developer write the code and place it on github we need a system which can automatically pull the code and build it what is meant by building all of them will learn just understand okay build means um, uh, 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 test the application or else uh, actual building the application means suppose this is a code written by developers pull it and build it building means compiling and packaging the code again what is meant by compiling developers write the source code convert into executable code or binaries okay and then package it package means ready to be deployable file will be created that's called build process see here this is just an overview how do you compile the code developer write the code you don't write the code you take it and compile it and package it how do you compile and package again through automation we don't do anything manually so that's where build automation tool maven comes in get maven okay and then continuous testing testing uh, automation testers will write test cases maybe in selenium or jmeter or whatever it is and those test cases will be executed automatically then if there are no bugs it would be deployed in this deployment process docker kubernetes ansible terraform can be involved so where each tool is involved how it works what is meant by continuous uh, building all of them will be learned but just let me give you an overview developers write the code and place it in git why git what is git i'm not going to going through them now okay that's all we are going to first what we'll do we'll learn git thoroughly from tomorrow onwards day two the actual course begin okay like i'll be starting with git first what is git why git what is the architecture of git then how do developers write the code and place it on git we don't uh, write the code but still you need to know how git is used okay it's not any uh, uh, coding tool it's a version control system what is it and all we'll see everyone should know git okay how to save how to version control your files your files may be some configuration files they might be some uh, script files how do you version control them so first we'll learn git and master it then we'll learn maven and jenkins will master them then we'll create the pipeline tool this part then we'll go to the next tool of uh, docker okay then we'll add it to the pipeline then we'll learn kubernetes we'll add it to the pipeline like that we'll be learning each tool thoroughly okay from basics uh, till all the advanced concepts and then we'll add it to our pipeline and keep on building our pipeline day by day that's how the course is designed understood everyone there isn't a so yeah developers write the code place the code in github you pull the code and do continuous builds of course this is all automated via jenkins so git comes in here jenkins comes in okay maven comes in here any automation test cases comes in you just run the test case okay we don't write the code we don't write the test cases you just automate executing those test cases and deploy it using docker and build the infrastructure using terraform and so on and once it is deployed monitor it using prometheus and grafana and feedback is sent to the respective teams not always to the developer team to the respective team this is the complete ci cd pipeline which we are going to build from tomorrow from day two the complete hands-on begin you should be doing hands-on every day okay i'll be showing you where you install it how to who do the lab setup where to do the lab setup the complete documentation will be provided and also i'll be doing the uh, lab setup in the class as well is this pipeline clear clear means just an overview understood what it is and what we'll be learning here and also see this pipeline could be implemented on on-prem servers or else on aws or azure or wherever you want you can implement it and i'll be implementing irrespective of the cloud also will be implementing on aws that's where aws services will be covered and a question from vikas i'm more aligned to dotnet and microsoft ecosystem will be using dotnet java for our examples as if not can you recommend corresponding tools see vikas my course like i said i'll be implementing on couple of applications like java application and php it doesn't mean that you should write the code in java or php okay developers will give you the code 
you should develop the application with the respective languages and how do you deploy it how do you integrate it in the ci cd pipeline we'll be learning and this one says many people are saying linux and scripting needed to learn first to become devops engineer h1 those will be covered here in the course from the basics and then what language i should start learning side by side with this course which helped me into automating things devops will i get any certification after taking the course after completion this course will be some live project hands on from end to end like one java and source code till monitoring means some complete project hands on i may know your name i don't see your name your name is like waiting for name coming to your questions yes complete tools will be covered okay guru raj thank you guru raj for the question yes complete course will be covered on multiple applications this complete ci cd pipeline will be built on multiple applications one is java application one is php application that is microservice application because microservice application is a need of the hour. that's how the applications are so we'll be covering this on uh, two applications one is a java and the other one is microservice application where php and database integration will be there and yeah you don't need to learn any programming language beforehand okay and there is no certification for devops at all there is no official certification for devops course as well as anyone providing certifications on this devops course will not be valid okay how you should uh, 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 acknowledge your skills you should put them in your resume so show your skill set in the interview that will do you don't need any separate certifications for it there is no official certification for devops itself so then how can anyone give the certification if anyone saying that they are giving certification that is not valid so keep in mind in interview panel that's not considered as i sit in the interview panel i can say this with my experience any more questions have you got there an idea a, of this pipeline tell me please this is a certification for aws they have uh, they have no you have certification for that is certification for aws okay that's a certification for aws devops that's a different thing here we are talking about devops methodology you don't have a certification for devops methodology devops methodology certification means there is no separate certification for devops you have to take certification on each tool separately like you take certification on git separately docker separately kubernetes separately that's how you go for certification here aws certification in devops is where you will be tested on aws services used for devops got it abhi yeah, yeah just one more question ma'am actually uh, what you said ki we will be uh, coordinating with uh, developer as well as ops team so will devops uh, make the job of uh, ops team less and less in future and eliminate it maybe yeah maybe because see it still see it all depends abhi because it's not in a different companies different projects are implementing in a different way what happens if your infrastructure is going to be on prem okay then there is a separate ops team generally they were still making a separate ops team who will take care of this infrastructure on prem okay if your infrastructure if the applications infrastructure is on cloud then the same devops team is taking care of the infrastructure on cloud also then there is no separate ops team generally this is the scenario nowadays otherwise we hello are you saying something and then muted so any more questions from anyone and yeah this is the pipeline will be uh, developing will be creating end to end on multiple applications like i said a java application and then a microservice application microservice application means you will get a real exposure on how applications will be in reality so that you could learn all of them to the core okay so that's the first thing and the uh, second thing like tomorrow we are going to start with git okay git may take like some 6 to 7 uh, uh, hours or so okay we'll be mastering it thoroughly then we'll learn maven and jenkins and we'll start with the pipeline so this is how we are going to go through 
and uh, yeah how where do you install git how to use git where do we do the lab isn't it every day hands on is mandatory your time and effort are very important you need to spend some time you need to put your effort learn the tools every day whatever we do the complete hands on should be done so for the complete uh, lab setup i'll be walking you through the complete lab setup so end to end cicd pipeline will be designed with the real scenarios and also interview questions we will be discussing so that you can crack your interviews